Hi, my name is George Wilson and I'm one of the ZFS developers and I'm here to talk to you about one of the key features in Solaris 10 Update 9. Um, one of the features that has is being introduced in Solaris 10 Update 9 is a new feature that we call ZPool Split. Um, the idea behind this feature is the ability to take any mirrored pool and split it off into an identical pool of equal size. So um, customarily, most customers have wanted to have some type of functionality like this simply to do things like backups, the ability to take a particular, a particular mirrored pool, split off and, and create a pool that is identical, and then move that pool onto a backup host so that there is no, um, there's no interference as far as when backups are running of impacting the workload on the production system. So that was kind of the main driving force behind it. But you can think of other reasons why you may want a similar feature. Um, for example, historically, a lot of customers would end up using things like DD to actually make exact copies of their root disks or root file systems so that they could use it for disaster recovery. And they would just simply keep another disk handy, DD to it periodically, and simply use it only if um, something happened to their original disk. Similar thing can be done with ZPool split and using it on your root pool. So now you can actually mirror your root pool, split it off, and now you have two pools that are both bootable with the exact same content. Um, and lastly, you can also use it for doing quick cloning. So if you wanted to have a, another system or deploy another system that had the exact same content and same layout, you could simply create a, uh, an initial pool mirror in and bring in some additional disks and use ZPool split to create an exact duplicate of that pool with the same file system, same layout, and same data content.